Hey everyone, Shadow Rockets here, and today I am doing another episode of Halo Testbed, and for this episode we are doing the shotgun, the sword, and the scatter shot. Now, I just kind of want to lead into this a little bit. The shotgun is going to be our first weapon, and there's not really anything interesting about it, unfortunately. It's got a really low skill cap, I would say, so it's very easy to use and very easy to get kills with. The sword, we found out some interesting things, and the scattershot, we found out amazing things. So, without further ado, I'm going to throw up the stats right now. Anyway, friends, we find out, obviously, that the shotgun has a pretty much instant time to kill with one shot when you're up close and personal, about three steps away, very close range, and about three shots at a moderate distance away. It's about the furthest that you want to use the shotgun. It's got a rate of fire of 1.05 seconds in between each shot, and the average time to kill makes it 1.125 seconds. Now all these time to kills are going to be very short, and that's because these weapons are short range, they're specialty weapons, you're not going to start with these, so you're, they're power weapons, I mean, they're, they're power weapons, I gotta leave it at that, really. The aim down sights time is .283 seconds, which is actually very high. In fact, it is the highest, if I do recall, other than the light rifle that we have found in this series, which is just ridiculous. It's it's obscene. So, that being said, we do have a effect on the scope in, as you're about to see here, and it's kind of surprising, actually. I didn't expect it to be too much. There's not a big difference, because it is a close-range weapon, but the further you go away, the more noticeable that spread differences. I give it a few shots here just to kind of test it. I didn't really like the outcome because I was like, ah, oh, they're, they're not very spread out. So, stepped back a few steps, made this last shot. Very nice and easy. Liked it a lot. So, anyway, friends, moving on from the shotgun, we are going to go right into the sword. I don't want to take too long on this one because it, it really, you know, it doesn't reload. It's It's got those it's a percentage weapon, it takes out a chunk every time you swing, it's a one-shot kill on long range or short range, really. It's got a lunge time of a third of a second when you're up close, and about at the farthest you can get, you're at .433 seconds. So you get that extra tenth of a second with that extra maybe step and a half, two steps. It's about three steps at the closest range, or I would say the average range that you want to use it at. The furthest range without scoping in. But scoping in does make a difference on the sword, so it gets you that extra maybe two steps or so, almost doubling your actual percentage. It's probably 150% or 160% of your unscoped range on the sword. It's got a rate of fire, quote-unquote, of about 0.75 seconds in between each swing, so that's not too surprising. And the average time to kill between the short and the quote-unquote long distance is... 0.383 seconds. The aim down sights time for the sword is 0.2 seconds, which is that nice average time that we found on a lot of the guns. Obviously, the scope does not affect the spread because there is no spread on the sword. It's wherever you're aiming. But it does do that neat thing you're about to see right there where it kind of angles your cut and it does affect the range. So, I mean, there you go. Moving into the scatter shot. Now, this gun... It surprised me so much. I mean, I, got, I don't want to get a too ahead of myself here. We're kind of, we're still on the sword, I guess, technically, just showing you that you don't lunge with the regular melee. But anyway, moving back into the scatter shot, I got a little ahead of myself there. Short time to kill of 0.117 seconds. I liked that a lot. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Spartan 117 was John, the Master Chief. And so... It was a one-shot to kill in the short range, which is about most effective range that you want to use it at, about that three-step range. It's about two shots, medium to long range at one second, and the average time to kill is 0.5585 seconds. Aim down size time is 0.233, a little higher than that standard aim down size time, but you'll notice right there that I killed Tidiest Bull by shooting the wall, and that is the interesting thing we want to talk about here. And that is that while, yes, aiming down sights really does increase the spread or decreases the spread and increases your distance that you're going to get on this gun, we learned a trick. And that is that this gun, after you ricochet the bullets, 
has extreme homing. It is just ridiculous. You'll, sh you'll see me trying to shoot Tidious Bull from afar without shooting the ground. And that's just not as effective. If they are medium to long range, this gun is still extremely effective. Getting about three to four shots, depending on if there's things in your way, obstructions. That'll beat a lot of assault rifles at this range. It may even beat some battle rifles if the person's not necessarily the most careful. And you can even, we've, we're going to see you later, you could ricochet it twice if you want to. It's, it's ridiculous. We're going to show you some double ricochets. It's going to hurt him right here. And it doesn't kill him, obviously, but it, it does angle towards him, you'll see. So if he's anywhere close, he's going to get hit by this double ricochet, which is just insane. Absolutely in love with the fact that this gun is just ridiculous with the homing after you shoot the ground. I just, I cannot get over that. So pro tip, if you do have the scatter shot, or if you're not too good at the scatter shot, I strongly recommend taking this. We did take this to an actual game to test it out in matchmaking against people we just didn't know we didn't know how they were going to react got in a game of coliseum where the scatter shot is down at the bottom and we used it this way and it was extremely effective more so if not so anyway friends if you like this gameplay if you like this video don't forget to like favorite comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time shatter rockets out